Are you struggling to get your web application to work with both servlets and web sockets in Tomcat? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into a common issue that many developers face when using Geist servlets and web sockets together. I totally get it. It can be incredibly frustrating when you think you've set everything up correctly, only to find that something isn't working as expected. This is a common scenario for developers working with Tomcat and Geis. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user created a sample web application using Geis servlets and WebSockets in Tomcat. However, they noticed that once they used the Geis filter, the WebSocket stopped working. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So, what could be causing this issue? It seems that the Geis filter is interfering with the WebSocket connection. This is a common problem when multiple filters are involved, especially if they're not ordered correctly. And stick around. By the end of this video, I'll share a solution that will get both your servlets and WebSockets working seamlessly together. To resolve the issue with the WebSocket not working alongside Geis filters, the user should first ensure that the WebSocket filter is registered before the Geis filter in the web.xml file. Next, the user should verify that the WebSocket endpoint is correctly defined and accessible. This involves checking the at server endpoint annotation to ensure it matches the intended URL. Additionally, the user should test the WebSocket connection using a tool like a WebSocket client or browser console to ensure that the connection is being established correctly. Finally, if the issue persists, the user can consider creating a dedicated servlet mapping for the WebSocket endpoint in the web.xml file which can help in routing the requests correctly. Fun fact, did you know that WebSockets were designed to provide full duplex communication channels over a single TCP connection? This makes them super efficient for real-time applications. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests that the issue may stem from how Geis handles WebSocket upgrade requests. Normally, Tomcat should not pass these requests through filters, but it seems Geis is interfering with this process. The user points out that filters are applied in the order they are defined in the web.xml file. If the WS filter is defined first, it will intercept the request before Geis can process it. This means that if the Geis filter is first, it can break WebSocket functionality. To resolve this, the user recommends modifying the Geis servlet mapping. Instead of using serve, they suggest using a regex that excludes WebSocket paths. This allows the WebSocket connections to work while still using Geis. Here's a pro tip. Always check the order of your filters in web.xml. The order can significantly impact how requests are processed, especially when using multiple frameworks. And there you have it. With the right filter order and configuration, your servlets and WebSockets should work perfectly together. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.